Hi, welcome back. So we studied select operation. Where do we use this select operation? Whenever we have requirement that give me the information where the following con condition is satisfied. So we will pick up those informations from the record which is satisfying this particular condition and they, we will present it to the user. But if it is given that give me the name of this student which satisfy this particular condition. So in this case, we, we don't want all the information about a student that is ID, name, CGP and all. Okay, we just want the name of the student. So what we will use? We will use project. Project is also a unary operation. And I forgot to mention, uh, select is also a unary operation. Okay, both are unary operation which operates on a single relation. Okay, so what do we do in project? Let's understand it. Likewise, in select, what did we do? In select, we just selected records of our interest and removed the other records which were not satisfying the condition. Similarly, let's say in this relation only, if I'm saying that I want the name of student, that is, let's write the requirement. So now the requirement is little bit changed. I just want to know the name of students. I don't want all the information. Then in this case, we will use project operation. So what project does from a given set of attributes in a relation, what it will do? Let's say so many attributes are there. Now project will only project to the, the attribute which is required and will discard the remaining things. So if this is the requirement, only this will be used, this attribute that is whatever is here that will be used only and remaining will be discarded from the table. So in this previous example, let's say it is saying I, I want the name of student whose CGPA is 9 plus. Then how do we write this? First of all, we write this project operation by pi symbol okay and similarly we can also write conditions by theta fine so let's write this how do we write this from relation we select those record whose cgp is greater than 9 and then we filter the remaining attributes and we keep the only the required attribute that is name here this is not theta this is we should write let's say a or something so this this is basically attribute okay that is which we want to project so here what what it does from this student first of all these two records are faced that is this one so this part is executed now what it does it just takes this name part okay discard the remaining things so this one is brought and now it will be just name and this record B and C okay what if there are two students that is let's say <coughs> we are getting another row here I'm just assuming from here that we are we have let's say ID 7 and B and it is also 9.8 now what it will do after this project operation it will again return the same thing okay B and C because what it returns, what a relational algebraic expression returns is a set. Okay, so this is basically set and in a set we don't repeat elements. Okay, so this B and C will be there. We will not write B, C, D. We will not repeat elements. Okay, so this is what we do in project. Now, we can also commutatively write this select and project operation this select and project we can commutatively write so we can interchange we can first project and then select okay so this will give us the same result in this case also in this case so when we have this select and project only then we can write it commutatively okay so i hope this is clear uh, let's go to the next operation which is a set operation that is union till now we were studying only 
the specific operations for relational algebra these are special operations for relational algebra only which we divided in we divided in two groups if you remember one was set relations or set operations that is union intersection subtraction that is the set difference and all and here cartesian product was also there then now we are uh, and the other group was that is this special operation dedicated to relational algebra so these two were special operations we will understand union in the next lecture which is a set operation so i hope this is clear till now if you have any doubt ask your question in doubt section thanks for watching